Welcome. Today we're going to be reacting to the trailer to Fighter. This is the trailer that just dropped today. It's a new film starring Anil Kapoor and Hrithik Roshan, and it's directed by Siddharth Anand. Got Deepika Padukone. And Deepika Paduka. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, apparently it's the first in a planned franchise of action films, so that's interesting. Uh, not a typical uh, pattern that Bollywood follows, so curious to see where that goes. I actually am trying to think of if it's going to be more of like all about planes kind of movies. I haven't made like any research into this. Obviously, I haven't seen the trailer, uh, but just from like the thumbnail mm -hmm. picture, I wonder if like like what it's about. You know, like is it all about like a plane story, like you know the pilot and like you know they're talking more about inside of the planes, or if it's you know more of like a war story. Hmm. I'm not sure. They, they did say it's a planned, uh, from what I read, it's a planned aerial action franchise. So I, I'm guessing it leans towards the planes. Um, it, it is also based on a uh, an actual true events. I'm not sure if they say based on a true story 100%, oh. but so I'm curious if how it can be a franchise. Is it just all going to follow, in, is it all going to follow true events? Uh, the mm -hmm. actual event was in 2019, so I feel like they're going to run out of material pretty quickly quickly if they keep following true events uh, unless uh, crazy things keep happening happening in real life we'll, we'll see but I, I'm curious what, uh, what the vision looks like there yeah I almost thought it would be sort of like a top gun thing like they're at like flight school and it's instructor and then they go do things so that's where my mind went but like just the thumbnail so like I actually we'll see we'll see <laughs> all right well, let's uh, let's get into it let's go all right Nice. Tom Cruise. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> oh, love Anil Kapoor. <laughs> love it. This feels a little bit familiar. Yeah. <laughs> IMAX 3D, huh? 
I have goosebumps. <laughs> I have straight up goosebumps. Yeah, it's a uh, looks exciting. Um, it's always cool to see all the planes and the missiles and stuff. I think first thoughts, the uh, the effects actually look good. I know it's something that Bollywood yeah. typically struggles with. Uh, even modern stuff seems like it's a few years behind behind Hollywood, but it, it looks looks pretty good. I, I suspect they're using a lot of uh, a lot of real planes and stuff here. Uh, I, I guess we'll see, but it looked it looked pretty good to me. Uh, of course, it uh, obviously takes some inspiration to say the least from uh, you know Top Gun and the like. Uh, you even saw there's that scene where they're on the runway doing doing push-ups uh, like in uh, in Top Gun Maverick. They had to do push-ups whenever they lost to Tom Cruise, which was always because he, he's Tom Cruise, right? Um, one thing that was, I think, different from Top Gun is that uh, both films, uh, I don't know if you noticed, they, uh, Rashmi watched them uh, recently. I introduced her to, to Top Gun. And uh, you notice both films actually don't name the foreign adversary. Um, oh, even the first one okay. says uh, there's these these rogue fighters. I think it names the type of plane, which was a type of plane, I believe, used by the, the Russians. They, they were MiGs, right? But they never call out, hey, mm. these, these are Russians, right? And uh, even the newer one, they say there's there's a rogue nation that's uh, cultivating this uh, this uh, stuff to make nuclear bombs, right? But they're, they're very intentional to have it be this, this uh, nameless, uh, faceless enemy, right? That's something that uh, Bollywood is obviously doing very differently here. Uh, they, they very obviously named the enemy. I, I guess it was based, uh, at least based in, in true events. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like, correct. That's interesting. It looks like it is time with uh, Independence Day as yeah, well. Yeah, correct. Republic Day. So it'll probably be releasing right around August 15th, I want to say. Wait. Republic Day? Is that January 26th? No, it should be August, right? Uh, probably the wrong person to ask. Um. <laughs> uh, let me look it up. You should know this one. I know, right? Republic Day. Friday, January 26th. Oh, That's awesome. what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, because January 25, 26th is our Republic Day. August 15th is our Independence Day. Oh, okay. So they're two separate things. And in case you're curious as to why we have Republic Day, it's when we adopted the Constitution. Okay. As opposed to when, like, when we got free from the British. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. So I was like, no. So it's coming out in, like, what, two weeks? Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised it's that close to the day then. I uh, would have thought this would be a little bit further out to build hype, but it seems like this uh, has just dropped. Huh? Yeah, and I generally thought when you were like, uh, oh, it's, you know, it's Republic Day, that I was like, wait, it can't be August 26th because that's way too long. Like, generally, that's like almost six months of just a trailer, so that wouldn't make sense. Right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it looks, looks exciting. Looks like we're going to have uh, everything we want in these sort of Bollywood action films. Uh, Big, uh, you know, big strong heroes, uh, one-liners, explosions. So uh, I I'm excited. <laughs> I really liked uh, kind of uh, seeing Anil Kapoor. I feel like Animal didn't give Anil Kapoor justice. He was almost like a side character. So I'm really excited to see Anil Kapoor have like such an integral role. He's he seems to be playing like this instructor type character, yeah. uh, like teacher or guruji, whatever you want to call it, and then. Um, Part of the team is Riti Roshan and Deepika Padukone, who seem to have a love angle kind of going yeah. into the movie. That sounds really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've seen them together. Ever? Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. Um, Riti Roshan had a war movie that came out in 2004 with Preeti Zinta. I was actually trying to look up the name for it. It's like I'm still in my town. Um, excuse me, I mean, it's an actual town. I know what it is. Laksha. I can't believe I forgot about it. I like loved it when it came out. Uh, but it's this entire story uh, where you know he, he goes to the army, he meets Pretty Zinta, she's a reporter, and then like he goes off to, to fight at the border. Um, and just has this like really intense story. It's actually one of the songs I listen to when I hit like the workout or like it just has like lots of so I'm hoping this movie also has those kinds of songs where you can just like pump out while you're pulling some weights or something at the gym. Yeah, for sure. It seems like based on at least this trailer, it's gonna it's gonna have that in spades. The, the one song we kept hearing was pretty pretty you know loud and over the top. Uh, so yeah, all the beats. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> Which other part? I didn't recognize any other characters. I feel like it was very focused on Ali Kapoor, Riti Rithi Karsha, and, and Deepika Padukone. I, I didn't see anyone else. There seemed to be like a whole bunch of other people in there, but I just didn't recognize them. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll see. Um, 
feel like it gave away a lot of uh, what the structure of the, the plot is going to be. It was kind of long as these, these trailers go. Uh, I thought it was going to end, and then it kept going, talking about the, the love interests. So I'm glad they glad they clarified that there will be a love interest, because that's, uh, that's why I'm turning out for the film, personally. <laughs> Not the fighter jets or the explosions or anything. They look so cool, though. I literally yeah. had goosebumps, like, just the way, like, some of the shots were recorded and, like, you know, being Indian. I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm really into it. Yeah. Um, in, in the way they were recorded. And like, I didn't I didn't even read about this incident, unfortunately, that happened in 2019. So this was, I wonder if they're going to do, like, a, like, the intro scene is a flashback, mm -hmm. and then they have this coming in, or how they're going to. So I'm, I'm super curious about that. Could be, yeah. We, I mean, we, we've seen Patan from this director. We haven't seen War, which actually had, like, three movies, but I think we caught any of those. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to catch up maybe before this com comes out and yeah. get a little more familiar. With the style. <laughs> yeah, all, all in all, it seems like it's uh, taking a lot of uh, cues from Top Gun, but uh, I don't think there's such thing as having uh, too many films about fighter jets. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, all in all, I, I'm excited. We'll definitely be there opening night. Yeah, I think this is probably the first movie I've seen in Bollywood that really is... So focused on fighter jet pilot, you know, fighter jets and fighter jet pilots. There was a TV show that came out, I want to say on Hulu, maybe like a year ago. My, I know my dad watched the whole series. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but that was kind of based around like a whole bunch of people. Um, and by Hulu, sorry, I mean on Hotstar. Oh, okay. Um, that, that came out and looked fun. That, that kind of seems to have a similar premise, but I don't think we've actually ever seen these on like big screen Bollywood. And I think this... Is one of those movies you should watch in theater because I think oh, yeah. the sound effect is going to be so cool. I mean, that does the note I mean at the end as well. It's, it looks like they're gonna have it in IMAX and IMAX 3D as well, which uh, that's it's true. surprising. I don't know if I've ever seen that from a Bollywood film before to be, be shot and uh, you know, released on, on IMAX. So that's that's cool. I'm curious if uh, just how far we'll have to travel to find a theater where we can actually watch it in, in IMAX. But let's see. I, I'm pumped. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. If you guys have any other trailers you recommend we watch, let me know. And then if you guys have any other movies you want us to watch, drop it in the comment below. And if you guys can hit the subscribe button, we'd love you guys for it. Thanks, y'all.